What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have the Photon deck profile for you guys. Uh, and for this build, I'm going for more of the Photon Galaxy build. There's actually a lot of different builds for Photons. Uh, I'm going to go for more of the rank 8 build whenever, of course, Tachyon comes out. That's the reason I'm not using a Guardian of Order. I know a lot of people have suggested that to me. I'm going to wait, though, until, uh, of course, 107 comes out, because uh, then it makes more sense, because right now in the TCG, we don't really have a whole lot of... Uh, two great uh, rank 8 monsters, and whenever 107 comes out, it's going to make a lot more sense to go for the rank 8 build. Uh, so yeah, also I'm having a contest on my Facebook page, a link in the description, you want to check that out, giving away two of the Zexel 10s, and uh, yeah, awesome contest, all I got to do is basically like the page, you know, and I'll have a link to it where you have to, you know, sign up, you have to enter the contest using the app or whatever on Facebook now, supposedly, so yeah. Uh, here we go though, here, let's go with the photon deck. Uh, first off, we have two uh, Galaxy House Photon Dragons. I have Ghost Rares. I was actually lucky enough to actually get these from PAX. Uh, yeah, they're really awesome. Of course, main card of the deck, I love uh, Galaxy Eyes. I mean, it's, it's such an awesome card. And uh, I feel like two is a good number. Uh, three kind of seemed like overkill, honestly, for this build. Alright, two Photon Satellite. Satellite is an awesome card. It helps you go for Neo Galaxy Eyes and, you know, some of those other high rank monsters, including you can uh, use uh, rank 5 monsters in this deck because of this card. So it's really nice. It makes the uh, higher rank uh, XC summoning a lot easier. Uh, we have three Photon Thrasher. It's kind of the main card of the deck in a lot of ways, or at least the main uh, lower level card. Really awesome one. Most of your cards, you're, wanna gonna, you're gonna want to go for this card. And, uh, yeah, it helps you go for uh, Dynamo. I always want to call it Paradios, but, you know, the Photonic Sea. I don't like the new name, <laughs> so I hadn't really memorized the new name. Uh, let's see, we also have three Galaxy Knight. As you see, I had to use a Japanese one because I wasn't lucky enough to get all I needed from the 10s. But I wanted to go ahead and do the deck profile for you guys because I know I've been promising it for a while. So, yeah, an awesome card helps you go for your high rank monsters. It is amazing with, of course, Galaxy as It's like its brother, basically. And it's just all around great, awesome card. Of course I would like it, too. It has Knight in the name. Uh, another card I was unfortunate not to be able to get enough of, and that is uh, three Galaxy Wizards. As you can see, I'm having to use one Japanese one and Proxy one, because I, I opened probably six or seven tins and only got one. I can't believe that. Uh, it is an awesome card, though. Another one that will help you, you know, it goes up in rank, so it's another one that's great for going for rank 8 monsters and stuff. And, of course, Neo Galaxy has it. You know, it's actually pretty possible to do that now with the newer Photon cards. Although, <laughs> if you get Solar Morning, you're going to cry, because you use a lot of stuff to even get it. Uh, an Honest, of course, you know, with all the light monsters, Honest, you kind of have to have. Uh, Photon Lizard... I know a lot of people are saying it's not the best card, but it does help me get Thrasher a little bit easier and stuff. So yeah, I kind of like it. It's a little added search. And uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of helps with the monster count too. Uh, here's a card I'm testing out right now. Uh, I saw a few people trying it out too, and I like the idea, honestly. And that is uh, two Light and Darkness Dragons. It uh, helps me have a few uh, higher level monsters in, in the deck, of course. It helps me protect my monsters. Like I was saying, Neo Galaxy has and a lot of the stuff that we're making, you know, the XC monsters we're making in this deck... I, you, they can easily be destroyed, you know, by uh, counter cards, but this can kind of help protect them. So I do like the idea. I think it's pretty awesome, and a reason to use Light and Darkness Dragon is always awesome. It's one of my favorite monsters. Alright, uh, now we're going with the spell cards. We have two Photon Sanctuary. Just another way to bring out some of those uh, higher monsters. Just plain and simple, really. I feel like that kind of explains itself. Uh, that's the way a lot of the Photon cards are, really. Uh, two Galaxy Expeditions, another great one to help Swarm get your Galaxy Eyes and uh, Galaxy uh, Knight, of course, you know, re really easily. I love the artwork of that one, too. So using two of those, two Galaxy Zero, another great way to revive a uh, Galaxy, you know, or Photon or whatever. Uh, you know, either one. That's what I like, too. It works with both. And, uh, yeah, it's just great for that as well. You can use it and go for an XC summon or, you know, whatever you want to do on that. Uh, we also have uh, two Excel Light, kind of the same thing with all the photo cards, like I said. It's basically helping you get the monsters out there easier to go for XC summons. It's, it's pretty plain and simple. But I'm using basically two of each, as you can see. Uh, I'm using two trade-ins. I feel like that's a good number. I felt like three would be an overkill, and it was a dead draw sometimes. So two seem really well with all the ranked monsters. Now, whenever the rank eight build, you know, I start using that, uh, yeah, then I would probably use three, because I've used probably two Guardian of Orders in the deck. And, uh, of course, I would have to have more than one uh, 107, of course. Uh, now we're kind of in staple mode, so here we go. A Monster Reborn, you gotta have those. Uh, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, two Mystical Space Typhoons, I mean, it's kind of your basic stuff. And uh, 
two Forbidden Lance. Kind of staples, kind of not. I don't know, it does help with added protection to my monsters, of course, because like I said, you will cry like a baby after you spend so much time finally bringing out Neo Galaxy Eyes, which is so awesome to do. It makes you feel awesome when you're able to bring it out and it just gets stomped, you know, by some kind of counter trap, it will make you cry. So this, you know, just some added protection in the deck that can uh, help prevent that. Uh, we have Reinforcement of the Army. Of course, help me get Thrasher. It's basically a four Thrasher, if you want to think about it like that. Foolish Burial helps out with some of the other strategies, too. Uh, and now for Traps, we have two Compulsory. Awesome card. It's kind of my card of choice, at least in Solar Morning. I uh, got hit, so I really like using Compulsory just about in everything. And uh, also two Torrentials. I was thinking on the two Torrentials because just in case something bad happens and I'm, and I'm not able to get a monster on the field, because that can happen with having a lot of a lot of uh, higher level monsters in the deck, uh, Torrential can wipe out my opponent You know, the, if they like swarm the field as well. So I really like using Torrential in a build that uses a lot of higher level monsters. Let's go with the extra deck. Alright, we have uh, Photon Butterfly Assassin. I don't like its <laughs> English name, I'm sorry. Pillow Operative, or whatever. I, I think I pronounced it right that time. I hate that name. Awesome card, though. It is really an awesome card. And it's a Photon, so it works out great. <laughs> uh, Gaga Cowboy. Uh, Lawful Chain. Great card as well. I love this card. I, I think it's awesome, especially Dual Terminal version. It's so cool. Um, My Stroke Symphony Gin. Uh, Gem Knight Pearl. It's kind of our staple exceeds at the moment. Utopia. Alright, and speaking of names I hate for the English version, we have two Star Liege uh, Paladynamo. I, I'm not even used to this name yet, I'm, you, you know. But, uh, yeah, really awesome XC monster. Really awesome. It works with anything that can use light monsters, so of course, you know, this is no brainer to use it with this. Uh, just awesome card. I, I really love this XC monster. It helps you draw and everything when it's destroyed. I, it's just awesome. Uh, Adreus, because with a uh, satellite we can go for rank 5, so we're going to use Adreus, and we're also going to use Volcanosaurus, because it just came out too, so why not? Volcanosaurus is freaking awesome. I'm really glad we finally got that card. For my rank 8, I am choosing uh, 2 Heretic Sun, uh, Dragon Overlord, Helopolis. Uh, I feel like they're our best rank 8s at the moment. I don't I don't think the gimmick puppets that we have so far are too great. I mean, we only have, I think, number 40 at the moment. And uh, he's alright, but I feel like Helopolis is the better one at the moment. But like I said, whenever 107 comes out, I'll probably place both the Helopolis for those. Because that card is freaking awesome, uh, rank 8. Of course, we're going to have to wait for Tachyon Galaxy for that, which is the next pack. Uh, another card I'm mainly putting in here just because it's possible to bring out, and which is awesome with Satellite. And that is number 9. A Dyson Sphere. There aren't many decks that can actually bring this card out, and so since this that can, you gotta run it, right? I mean, it's an awesome card. It really, is one of the strongest number cards too. Just one of the harder ones to bring out at the moment. And also, the final two uh, XCs we have are two Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons, and I was actually able to get Ghost versions of this. I was really surprised too, but yeah, they're they're freaking awesome. If you're able to summon it. Uh, it makes it feel awesome, but if your opponent, you know, counters it, destroys it, whatever, uh, you're going to cry. Because you use so much to bring this card out. Uh, you pretty much want to make sure it's a for sure thing that you're going to be able to bring this card out. You know, like they can't counter it if you're going for it. Because it costs so much to bring this card out. I usually don't re recommend even trying to go for it. Because you'll use it so many resources, they counter it, you're screwed. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Uh, so yeah, that is the deck. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, I plan to do an updated version whenever Tachyon comes out, of course. And I'll probably do a few more updates, too. And duels. Don't forget duels. I'm going to be recording those probably later today after I upload this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully there are there any other deck profiles you guys want to see in the future as well. Tell me in the comments. And hopefully I'll be able to get those Galaxy Wizards. I can't believe that card is that hard to get. I figure I'll order some off the internet, but I wanted to go ahead. I hate using proxies in my deck profiles, but I wanted to go ahead and do that just so I could get you, you guys the video because I know you guys, uh, a lot of you were looking forward to this for a while. So yeah, uh, any updates, you know, any ideas to make this deck better, of course, are always welcome. Constructive criticism is always welcomed. And uh, yeah. I, will, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Remember to check out that contest, too, on my Facebook page. Link in the description. Later, guys.